In this lesson, we are going to learn about the concept behind your diamagnetism and paramagnetism. Okay, so your diamagnetism and paramagnetism is explained by what is known as your Langevin's theory. Okay, so we are going to learn about Langevin's theory for diamagnetism and paramagnetism. Okay, let's start off with Langevin's theory for diamagnetism okay so just remember your Langevin's theory basically tells you that your diamagnetic materials are the materials in which you have your electrons that are paired okay since your electrons are paired or in other words your shells are complete your net magnetic moment is always zero okay you have a electron which is having a spin half you have another electron having a spin minus half because of this your net magnetic moment tends to become zero for both orbital and spin magnetic moments okay therefore these diamagnetic materials or these elements which have their electrons paired they do not have net magnetic moment or they have only very feeble magnetization okay in the presence of external magnetic field they are only feebly magnetized okay in a diamagnetic material when you are going to add a external field only your orbital magnetic moment is going to be affected okay it becomes non-zero and we know orbital magnetic moment resists this magnetic field okay therefore you get a magnetization effect which tends to resist this magnetic field and your diamagnetic materials they repel your magnet or magnetic field okay so let's try to understand what exactly is happening okay let's just say that I have an electron which is orbiting okay and now I apply a magnetic field perpendicular to the plane of this orbit okay so since you have now applied a magnetic field flux has changed okay we know that whenever there is a change in flux there is a induced EMF right your induced EMF is d phi by dt correct so since you have applied a magnetic field your flux has changed as a result you now have a induced emf okay this induced emf causes a electric field to act on this electron okay so let's just say that my electric field due to induced emf is e okay so I want to calculate this value of E. I know my induced EMF is equal to line integral E dot dl over this entire orbit. Okay. So this is equal to E dot 2 pi r and hence my electric field that is generated due to this induced EMF is induced EMF upon 2 pi r okay now I know electric field is going to act on this electron okay the force due to this electric field is Q E right now this force is going to change the velocity of this electron which is orbiting in this particular orbit okay so as per your Newton's law your force is equal to m dv by dt okay now my e is equal to induced emf upon 2 pi r right so what i have is q dot induced emf upon 2 pi r now induced emf in itself is equal to change in flux right so instead of writing it like this i'm going to write it as d phi by dt upon 2 pi r okay so let's just say I have a 2 pi r over here. Okay. This is equal to m dv by 